All right, in this video, we are going to be unboxing a Pentium Gold, the uh, 5420, G5420 model, and which uses the LGA 1151 port. So this is the CPU. And uh, we're gonna open this up and see what they provide for you. So let's get started. Nothing else uh, really on the box here. Um, gives you a little information there on the back. Um, processor with a thermal solution. And then there's the, the specs. Cover up my serial number there. You got this is a 3.8 gigahertz processor, 4 megabyte cache, and then the socket LGA 1151. So let's go ahead and break this open here. Oops, where did the, the seal go? There it is. <laughs> Still factory sealed. Always good when you buy something new. Oh, you can actually see the CPU right there on the, um, right there on the edge. I'm going to open that up. Slide out our CPU here. All right, so they give you a, a little sticky label that you can put on your machine, uh, especially if you're a builder, um, you can put that on there. And then, you know, a little instruction booklet there with for the CPU. And then we have here in the cardboard packaging, the CPU actually just slides right out of the side. Careful, there we go. So that is it. <laughs> that is the CPU right there. Let's see if I can get that to focus. There you go. Pentium Gold, 3.8 gigahertz. There's all the pins on the back. Let's see if I can pull this out of here for you. Give you a little bit closer look, see if that'll focus. Who knows, will it focus? Not gonna focus. <laughs> there it goes. pretty cool it's nice now uh, that the newer CPUs don't have all those pins on them because you used to be able to bend those all the time and really mess up your entire uh, <laughs> your entire uh, CPU there and then the rest of this is the stock cooler that comes with it so just open this up here there you go and that is the stock cooler uses a four pin plug oops Get my hand on the uh, thermal paste there. <laughs> thermal paste pre-applied at the bottom, except for where I just touched it. So we'll have to touch that up maybe. And uh, there you go. That is the basic stock cooler that comes with that. Let's see if I can get this back in here without making too much of a mess. There we go. All right, so that's pretty much it. So the good thing is whenever you buy a CPU like this, um, they are gonna give you a stock cooler of some sort. So at least you have something to get started, um, but I would say if you're ever buying a CPU and you're going to run it, you know, on a day-to-day -day type rig, you probably want to get a uh, or like a gaming machine, something like that. I want to get a little bit better cooler, but in this case, the stock cooler will work fine. So if you have any questions on this CPU, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, otherwise, have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next video.